I think we have time for one more question. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, excuse me. Uh, my name is Coach Eddie Hextall, and um, one of the things I would, I think you're doing a great job, a wonderful job. Thank you. Uh, but with a lot of athletes uh, and by coaching young men, I see a lot of injustice. Mm. I see where some kids can do things and just by the system, uh, the results are just horrible or a lot different. As athletes, how can you guys, not so much you, but athletes in general, yeah. uh, be more supportive or speak out a little bit more on some of this injustice? Yeah. No, that's a great question. It's been, it's been one of the things on my mind lately, um, just going back over history and understanding um, how America has really formed, I think is important. And I think we need to teach our children real history. You know, I went through all, all those years of school and I learned the history they wanted me to learn, but the real history is a lot more painful. Now on Netflix, there is a special called Who We Are. Um, and it's called uh, Who We Are, The History of Racism in America, or something like that title. And if you get a chance to watch it, it's, it's incredibly informative. And I, I think the best thing we can do for our children is to open their eyes to that. That, yeah, my, my parents told me when I was a kid, they said, you're gonna have to work twice as hard as the next person. Yeah, the system's not fair. It's not gonna be fair. It wasn't fair to my parents. My, father, my grandfather worked in the post office for 50 years and never got promoted. And he sued the post office, he ended up winning the lawsuit because they, it was discrimination against him. And so no, it, it's, it's not fair. It wasn't fair 50 years ago and it's not fair today. But that, it's, it's the system, it's built in, right? The redlining, the gerrymandering that still happens today, all this stuff still happens today. There's a reason why high, the highways have been built where they've been built. They don't want commerce to go across the highway. In every city I go to, in every city, the story is the same. On one side of the highway, less than 10% of those kids are gonna to go to college. On the other side, 77% of those kids are gonna to go to college. On one side of the highway, these kids are gonna cost your society $100,000, $150,000 each. On this side, they're gonna to contribute $200,000 to society per person. And it's the same in every city. That's how America was built. And so, yes, that's true. There is a foundational unfairness, but that's something we can't control right now, right? So the best thing we can do is get educated and get ourselves prepared to make a change. My grandfather decided he wanted life to be better for his children and his grandchildren, and now two generations later, I'm able to do the things I can do. And I can work, and I can make money, and I can do, I, there's no limit to what I can do. And that's because my grandfather said, and my father said, and my mother said, it's gonna be different for you. We're gonna sacrifice so that you get what you need. Amen. They bought a house, they moved here, to, they moved to Virginia Beach and bought a house they couldn't afford to live in a neighborhood they couldn't afford to be in so that I would see what the other side looked like. Amen. And I began to expect that. And so, you know, we have to make that commitment at some point in San Antonio, it's the same lesson I teach to the Hispanic kids. We're 55% Hispanic. And so in a lot of those families, they stick together and you know, there's a lot of poor Hispanic families and they don't want the kid to go to college. They want the kid to make money, go get a job. You know, you need to go work construction and bring money home. And, uh, and, and you gotta teach them that no, no, they need to go to college, right? They need to break the cycle. You know, that was the same thing about why redlining worked. If you couldn't buy a home, that was a way you gained wealth. That was the way you grew in wealth. Yes. And so if they stop you from buying a home, they stop your family from growing up. And in all those other neighborhoods, the home value shot up. And those people, those families got wealthier. And, and so education is, is that key. That's why I love George Washington Carver. He said education is the golden key that unlocks the door to freedom. Mm. And, and that's what I believe um, with our kids now is, is they just need to understand. Understand the, the playing field that you're playing on. If you go into a game and you know who you're playing against, you can be prepared. But if you go into a game, you don't even know what those guys can do. 
you're not ready. And you're going to get beat up by the system. But you have to know what you're facing and come in. Martin Luther King tried to speak out to all that stuff. And look what happened to him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right? He was saying all this stuff 50 years ago. And look what happened to him. So I'm saying it's not an easy thing. The system isn't going to change easily. It's been years and years in the making. But we can do a better job of preparing our kids for the future that they need to create for themselves. Amen. Amen. Hello, everyone. I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos. So please subscribe to this page and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.